Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Exit Automation. And today we'll be talking about Lambda Test's new LT browser. So Lambda Test is one of the popular cross-browser testing platform to perform more than 2000 plus real browser and operating system combination testing. So if you're gonna be testing our Selenium based test, we definitely need to test our application in different browsers, in different versions, in different operating systems, then definitely Lambda test is a go-to platform to choose because it has almost all the different browser combination available on the planet and we can make use of Lambda test to run our test directly by just making a bit of code change and then it start running our test. So basically Lambda test has got a Lambda test Selenium grid, which does those magics for us. But today we're not very concerned about how the Lambda test actually works and stuff. There are so many video series available on Lambda test platform regarding how to run the Selenium based test in C sharp, as well as in spec flow, in MS test, any unit like that. You can go ahead and watch the series over there in YouTube. But today we'll be talking about the LT browser, as I told you. So the LT browser is the latest installment of the feature Lambda test has offered, which helps you test the applications in different browsers, in different platforms and desktop versions and how it looks like while you go live. So you can see how the application actually behaves, how it works and you can also see the performance report if you wanted to and all those stuff so you can see all those details side by side using the lt browsers and again lt browser is currently available for the freemium plan as well so if you sign up in the lambda test like free you will get a 30 minutes of free testing in the LT browsers. And after that, you will be locked to just use a couple of the options in the LT browser. But after 24 hours, you'll be again getting another 30 minutes to do the testing. That's the plan as of now. But yes, it's worth trying out the LT browser because you will see it has so many different experience, like pretty much like how it looks like in the Chrome dev tool or any other dev tools available on different browsers, but there are many different cache available. So I have already downloaded the LT browser within my machine and I will quickly show you how it looks like. So once I open this LT browser, it's open my different screen as you can see here and you will see that this is the LT browser which just comes in and it currently shows two different devices being compared for me. So one is the device which actually has got the uh, iPhone X uh, and another one is the iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, and you can see that the screen, how it looks like in both these uh, devices for me over here. And you will also see the resolution changes and stuff in different uh, platforms. For example, if I just remove this device and if I hit add new device, you will see there are different devices coming in. For example, if I wanted to test the same website, the exitautomation.com in the 15 inch MacBook Pro, I can select this, hit the add device, and you will see that the device will load the application for me over here. And I will see both the desktop experience of my website as well as the mobile view or the mobile experience of my website pretty cleanly. And also it will be very, very interactive for us, like pretty much like how we interact with our website. So you can see all the animation comes in. And if I try doing the enroll, you can see that this option comes in for both these devices, which is quite nice. And I can also do a sign up if I wanted to, uh, and you will see that the sign up page comes in and then I can start entering and it does exactly the same way like how it used to do in different machines, which is quite interesting. And not just this side-by-side -side view the LT browser has got, it also has got a performance report for us. So it, if I click this performance report, you will see that it's gonna generate a performance report for us, including the site load, the CSS load time, and how much time it took to load an image and stuff. So it's gonna have all those report or performance metric for us for the mobile as well as for the desktop site. So it is actually powered by Google's Lighthouse. And again, Google Lighthouse is available in all the modern browsers, if it is a Chromium based browsers, and you have that already. But this LT browser has customized it to give us a very, very detailed view of how the performance metrics of our sites going to look like. It's going to have the largest contentful paint like 6.5 second, the speed index is 5.6 seconds, time to interactive is 11.5 seconds, which is openly bad. And then it also has got a best practices SEO and PWA um, and the 
so image next gen formats that is going to show us all the images which is being served and unnecessary javascript being used within my website which is quite bad we're going to be fixing that pretty soon and then we have the efficiently encoded images as you can see over here and eliminate the rendering blocking resources and everything i mean this is some of the most important key parameter required by the seo as well as the web developer to understand what's going on within our website so this is one of the another cool thing which is available on the lt browser we can get the performance report we can also share that if you wanted to and not only that we also have an option to debug the website straight away so we can do this inspect element and we get the same chrome dev tool here just going to be showing us all those details like what's really happening like that we can also pin if we wanted to and we can also see the components and profilers if we really wanted to test our website if it is a modern browser because it's for the react 16.5 plus where we can actually do the profiling so all those chrome dev tool option also comes in for us over here and then the last option which i really like is the screenshotting as well as the video recording option so if we just do a video recording it is also going to do a recording of what's really happening for example if we have any bug and we need to share among the team who are developing this particular website then i can just do a video recording something like this and i can see that probably we can improve this experience in some way let's say if i do a watch you can see that the screen is not loading fully rather i wanted it to be loaded just on like a like a full screen something like this like a thumbnail so i can probably do that and i can just do a stop recording so this particular recording that i just did is going to be saved under my media folder if i just go over there so you can see that i have two videos and this is the just now created video that i just saved and this particular video is being saved for us over here as well so this is another nice feature which the lt browser has got for us to store the video that we have recorded which is going to be helpful to reproduce the issue and also share among the team members and not only that we can also take image screenshot like a full image screenshot of our page something like this and we can also see that whether our application is really showing the in progress or completed messages like a screenshot and things which we used to do for our testing and our exit automation platform so this is really really cool to see that lt browser has already got it covered for us to do and enormous amount of testing from just one single browser like lt browser so i don't even have to see how the website is going to be rendered in different devices and platforms and how its performance is going to look like in just one single browser which is nothing but the lt browser so that's the lt browser is all about that is the lambda tests browser is all about and it's really really cool to see that it has got almost all the modern devices as well as the tablets that you're looking for and the desktop as you're looking for here is all sitting in just one place we can also do the customize if i wanted to like we can customize the device uh, resolution if you wanted to if it is not there over here all those details is going to be coming up for us in just one single place we can compare side by side and we can see how it actually works so this is the power of lambda test i really like the matter of fact that it is really really cool to see all of these things are working flawlessly in lambda test it's pretty interesting to use for development as well as for the testing purpose so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and hope you really enjoy using this feature of lambda test thank you